Hi, my name is Jane and welcome to Loopy Mabel Crochet. If you're new here, you're very welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, hi and welcome back. Before I continue in today's video, I'm just going to explain what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing my lacy neck shawl. There is a tutorial for this if you wanted to have a go. I love wearing this because it just pops on round your neck. I like to fasten mine with my shawl pin and it just keeps me snug and warm and it just finishes off an outfit sometimes I think. So that is the lacy neck shawl and there's a PDF pattern too if you wanted to download that. And Mabel is wearing my latest crochet design. I'm absolutely thrilled and in love with this design. I just love the textures, the bobbles, the panels and obviously this one is I've done in the three colours and then I've also got the one where I did in the in the just the one colour so you can see the difference and I've had so much feedback. Thank you so much for all those people that have given me feedback and all of you that have actually bought the pattern and downloaded it so thank you so much. It really does make my day when people buy my patterns. So what's today's video? Well I'm going to be showing you how to crochet another one of my baby bonnets. I've already done the, the bell bonnet, the tutorial for that. I'll put the link for that up here somewhere. And this is the second one. It's very similar to the bell bonnet. This is the Elsie bonnet. It is quite similar in design but it is a different stitch and it's just the cutest, the cutest thing. So I'm going to show you how to make the Elsie bonnet. So if you'd like to crochet along with me, I shall see you in a moment. Right, so to make the bonnet, I'm going to be using a double knit yarn, so you can use any double knit yarn you want. This one is Rico Design, the Essential Merino Double Knit, but as I say, you can use any double knit yarn. You'll need some darning needles, a stitch marker, scissors and a four millimetre hook. This uh, tutorial will be in UK terms, so if you're watching from the US, just please be aware of that. But I do have a PDF pattern that you can download and it has six sizes in it. So it goes all the way from newborn all the way up to age 10. So if you wanted to purchase the PDF pattern, then everything would be in there for you. Um, you need to also be aware of the stitches that we use. So if you're not familiar with them before you start this tutorial, it may be worth checking out my other tutorials. I'm going to be using the slip stitch, the chain stitch, uh, skip stitch obviously, double crochet and the treble crochet. So if you're not quite sure of those stitches and you want to have a practice beforehand, I would highly recommend it. Otherwise, let's get going. So I'm going to start off and make our magic ring. So whichever way you want to do that, I do have a tutorial for it, but this is how I like to do mine. Like so. And what we need to do is we need to work 12 trebles into our magic circle, into our magic ring. So yarn over, insert your hook down into that magic ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's one. So we need to do that 12 times. So 12 trebles all together into the magic ring. So if I leave you to continue just like me doing 12 trebles. There we go, I've got my 12 trebles. So I'm just going to pull the yarn just to bring that ring in, like so. And we're not going to slip stitch to the first one, we're going to work into that first one. So we're going to work into that first treble that we did and work a treble. So insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through and now we're going to put our stitch marker into that first stitch that we've just done like so and then we're going to work back down into that same stitch again and work another treble so insert your hook and work another treble and then we're going to work two trebles into every stitch to the end 
and that should give us 24 trebles. So if you want to do exactly the same as me, working two trebles into every stitch. So all you have to do is just pause the video and then just press play again when you're ready to go on to the next step. So just continue on now until you come all the way around and you've got 24 trebles. Okay, so I've just got one stitch left. So I'm just gonna do my last two trebles into that stitch. Like so. So your work should be looking something like this. And we're gonna go on to round three. So we're gonna work into that stitch where our stitch marker is. So if we just take your stitch marker out, and we're gonna work our treble into that stitch. And then add your stitch marker back in. And then we're going to go back down into that same stitch and work another treble. So we've done two trebles. And then we're going to go into the next stitch and work one treble. Then into the next stitch we're going to do two trebles. Then into the next stitch one treble. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along working two trebles then one treble so if I leave you to do that all the way around and I'll see you somewhere around about here and we should have 36 stitches so I shall see you somewhere round about here so I'm almost to the end of this row I've got one more to do I've just done the two trebles into that space and my last stitch will be the one treble so insert my hook and just work the one treble and that brings us round to the end of round three so round four we're going to work into that first stitch again take the stitch marker out and work our treble insert your stitch marker and then into the same stitch work another treble then into the next stitch work one treble and then into the next stitch work one treble and then into the next stitch work two treble and then one treble into the next one treble into the next and then two treble into the next so just Repeat this all the way around for round four. Working one treble, one treble, two treble, one treble, one treble, two treble, all the way around. I shall see you somewhere round about here and we'll finish off round four. So I'm just down to my last three stitches and I'm just gonna finish off with my two treble. and then treble and then treble and that completes round four and if you just want to double check that you've got 48 stitches now so you should have 48 stitches and we're going to go on to round five so take out your stitch marker and we're going to work our treble into that next stitch so your hook and work your treble in insert your stitch marker and then down into that same stitch we work another treble and then into the next three stitches we're going to do a treble so one treble into the next three stitches And then two treble into the next. I'm just going to repeat that all the way around for this round. So a treble into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then two into the next. One and two. So we're just going to repeat this again all the way around working treble 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 then two trebles 
treble, 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 then two trebles all the way around. And she'll see you somewhere round about here by the stitch marker and then we'll finish off round five. So I'm just down to my last four stitches. So I'm just going to finish off with my two trebles. And then treble into the last three. One, two, three. And you should have 60 stitches now on this crown of the bonnet. 60 stitches. So if you just want to double check, you've got 60 stitches before we continue. So you should have 60 stitches and we'll go on to our next round, which is round six. Take your stitch marker out, insert your hook into that next stitch and work your treble. Then replace your stitch marker. And we're going to go down, back down to that same stitch and work another treble. And then we're going to work one treble now over the next four stitches. So one treble over the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two trebles into the next. And then one treble into the next four. So I'm just going to repeat this all the way along, working one treble over four stitches, then two trebles into the next, all the way around. I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll finish off round six. So I'm just at the end of this round, round six. So I've just got to finish off with my two trebles and then my trebles over the next four stitches. And if you want to double check that you have, that you now have 72 stitches. So before we continue, if you just want to pause the video, double check that you've got 72 stitches for the crown of your bonnet. So we should finish round six with 72 stitches. So we're going to go on to round seven and just remove our stitch marker. Insert your hook and work a treble and then put your stitch marker back in. And then insert your hook into the same stitch and work another treble. And then we're going to work a treble over the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've worked our two and then we've worked one, two, three, four, five. And then into the next stitch, we're going to do two, two trebles. And then we're going to work one treble over the next five stitches. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around this round. So we've done our five single trebles and then into the next we're going to do two. So if I leave you to pause the video, work a treble over the next five stitches, then two trebles, then a treble over the next five stitches, then two trebles all the way around. I shall see you somewhere towards the end of this round and we'll then move on to the pattern. So I've just got to my last six stitches. So I'm just going to do my two trebles. and then a treble into the last five. And your work should look something like this and you should have now 84 stitches. So if you just want to double check you've got 84 stitches before we continue. So now we're going to slip stitch close. So we're going to take our stitch marker out and we're going to slip stitch to that stitch 
and close the crown part of the pattern off now. So that's the crown complete. And then we're going to work on the pattern part of the bonnet now. So we're going to chain three. One, two and three. And then we're going to work two treble back down into that same space. So insert your hook and work two treble. So one, two. Then we're going to skip two. So one, two, skip those two. And then we're going to double crochet into the next. So skip two and then double crochet into the next. And then we're going to skip two. And then we're going to work four trebles into the next. So skip two, one, two, and insert your hook into the next and work four trebles. One, two, three, and four. Skip two and double crochet into the next. And we're just going to repeat that again. So skip two, four trebles into the next. Skip two and then double crochet into the next. And we're just going to repeat that all the way along. So skip two, four trebles into the next. Skip two, double crochet into the next. And just repeat that all the way along. Skip two, four trebles, skip two, double crochet, skip two, four trebles, skip two, a double crochet. So if you want to pause the video and work that all the way around and I shall see you somewhere towards the end because we're not going to go right to the end. I shall see you somewhere around about here and then we'll go from there. Right, so I've got eight stitches left. So if you work to the point where you've got eight stitches left and you've just finished with a double crochet and then we're going to skip the two. So skip two and then to that one, third one. So skip two and then we're going to work three trebles into that next stitch. So one, two and three. And you should have one, two, three, four, five stitches left. And we're not going to work into those stitches because they are going to form the base of the bonnet at the back of the neck. So we're not going to work in them. We're going to leave them now throughout the pattern. So we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. So turn your work. And the chain one does not count as a stitch. And into that first stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. So insert your hook into that first stitch and work a double crochet. So then we're going to work into the next double crochet from the previous row. You can see the double crochet there. So yarn over and insert your hook and work four trebles. So one, two, three, four. So what we did was we did a double crochet and then we skipped two stitches and then we worked our four trebles into that double crochet of the previous of the previous round. And then we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to work into the space between the second and the third treble. So from the previous round, if you remember, we did four trebles into one stitch. So we're going to be working in between treble number two and treble number three. We're going to insert our hook in between. So we're going to insert our hook in between those two and work a double crochet. And then we're going to skip again and we're going to work down into that next double crochet and we're going to work four trebles. So one, two, three and four. And then we're going to work in between trebles two and three again and insert our hook and work a double crochet and we're just going to repeat this all the way along so four trebles down into that next double crochet from the row below one two three and four 
and then a double crochet in between trebles two and three from the previous row insert your hook and work a double crochet and just repeat this all the way along so I'll just explain again so we're going to be working into the gap between trebles two and three from the four trebles of the previous row we're going to be inserting our hook into that gap and work a double crochet and then we're going to be working into the double crochet of the previous row and work four trebles and we're going to do this all the way along so if you want to pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here I shall see you somewhere around about here towards the end and I'll show you how to finish off this row so I've just towards the end of this row so I've just completed my double crochet I've got one more set of trebles to go in that double crochet from the row below so I'll just do the four trebles and then I'm just going to finish off with my double crochet at the top of the chain three that we did at the beginning of the previous row so just find the top of your chain three insert your hook if you just turn your work sideways you can see your chains one two three so I'm just going to insert my hook into the top of that third chain and work my double crochet and that's completed round two and you can see we're just forming a pretty lacy pattern now on the right side we're going to chain three now so one two and three and we're going to turn our work again so we should have the right side facing us now and then we're going to do two trebles down into that same stitch so insert your hook down to that same stitch and work two trebles now if it makes it easy for you you can insert your stitch mark into the top of that chain three that you just did and then you can see where you're going to insert your hook when you come back round. So we've worked our two trebles. We're going to skip two and we're going to do a double crochet between the second and third of the treble. So there's our four trebles from the row below. So we're just going to insert our hook into the middle of treble two and three. One, two, three, four. Insert our hook into the middle. And work a double crochet and then we're just going to skip two and then insert our hook and do four trebles into the next which is the double crochet from the row below so four trebles skip two and insert your hook in between trebles two and three and work a double crochet skip two work four trebles so I'm just going to repeat this all the way along skip two work four trebles skip two work a double crochet in between two and three so if I leave you to repeat that process all the way around and I shall see you somewhere towards the end again and we'll complete row three so I'm just towards the end of this row three and I've just got to do one more double crochet in between two and three insert my hook double crochet and then I'm just going to do three trebles into the top of that double crochet so insert your hook work one two three and that equals up what we did at the beginning we did our chain three plus two trebles and that chain three counted as a treble so we've got three trebles at the beginning and we've just finished with three trebles at the end so that equals that out and all you're going to do now is repeat rows two and three over and over and we shall do 13 rows of the pattern in total so if I can leave you to repeat rows two and three I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 13 so if you want to just rewind pause and rewind the video to remind you of what row two and row three is and just repeat those rows and i shall see you at the end of row 13. OK, 
okay so you should now have completed your 13 rows and we've just tied off the work and your bonnet should be looking something like this and now we're going to add our ties so we're going to work with the bonnet the front facing us so we're going to make a chain so we're just going to make our slip knot and we're going to chain 42 so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through like so until you've got 42 chains and I shall see you when you've got 42 chains right so I've got my 42 chains ready and I'm just going to insert my hook into the corner point of the bonnet the base of the bonnet there and I'm just going to attach this chain to the bonnet by pulling it through yarn over and pull through and work in a double crochet and I'm just going to pick up my stitches all the way along evenly and work double crochet so just evenly inserting your hook and double crochet so just work all the way along insert your hook and just evenly working your double crochet stitches all the way along and then you'll come to the five that we had that we didn't work so double crochet along those five and then evenly pick up your double crochets all the way to the other side and I shall see you somewhere round about here so I've picked up the stitches all the way along like so and I've come to the end and now we're just going to chain 43 so chain 43 so we have 43 and we're going to go down into the second chain from our hook so obviously we don't count this that's on your hook so count back two chains so not the first one down into the second insert your hook and work a double crochet then go down into the next chain insert your hook and work another double crochet and we're going to work all the way back down this chain with double crochet inserting your hook yarn over pull through pull through and you're now creating the tie so if I can leave you to insert your hook into every chain all the way down to the bonnet and then working your double crochets all the way back along the stitches that you picked up at the beginning and you'll we'll come to the second tie and then you just work your double crochets all the way along to the end so if you want to continue doing that and i shall see you somewhere around about here we'll finish off we'll, and we'll sew in our ends and our bonnet will be complete so i've worked all the way along the bonnet so i've just finished off my last chain there so i'm just going to cut the yarn And just pull it through I'm just going to tie the two ends into a knot just to secure them and then all that's left to do now with our Elsie bonnet is to sew in our ends so I'll quickly show you how to do that in case you're not sure so you just get your dining needle and I'll just sew it in this centre thread here so you just simply thread your yarn onto your darning needle and you just insert your needle into the stitches and just gently threading through the tail of your yarn don't pull it too tight and then you just simply trim the end and there you have your Elsie baby bonnet so that was our Elsie baby bonnet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and that bell, and then you'll never miss out on the tutorials that I bring out. If you love what I do and what I create and you wanted to say thank you, then you could always buy me a coffee and I'll put the link for my coffee account in the box below. And you just simply go on to the coffee.com and then you can just donate a few pounds towards saying thank you for me and my channel no big deal though and you certainly don't have to i just hope that you enjoy the tutorials that i do so i have got i'm going to make another tutorial for the third bonnet so watch out for that and i'm also working on 
another design another shoulder type snug design too so watch out for that but until the meantime as i always say please please take care and don't forget happy crochet always happy crochet